name is Harald Hoffmann. My name is Harald Hoffmann. I'm head of the Supranational Tuberculosis Reference Laboratory in Gauting in Germany. I'd like to tell you how fluorescence microscopy techniques can help you combat tuberculosis, one of mankind's most serious infectious diseases. Most cases of tuberculosis affect people in developing countries that have only limited financial resources, but which need a simple method for verifying pathogens both quickly and reliably. We are active in these regions as a WHO reference laboratory using fluorescence microscopy to accurately identify the disease. You can easily detect the tuberculosis bacteria at a glance by staining preparations with oramine. This process is much easier than using conventional Zeal-Nielsen staining. First, mark your microscope slide as usual and straight the material as evenly as possible on the surface. Then, fix the air-dried smear with heat. For staining, use a solution with oramine O that settles in the cell wall of bacteria. Keep the preparations covered with solution until the end of the 20-minute staining time. Non-acid fast bacteria fade when you subsequently treat them with a mixture of acid and alcohol, whereas acid fast tuberculosis bacteria retain the stain. Rinse the alcohol off thoroughly with distilled water. Next, use potassium permanganate, methylene blue, or even ordinary ink for counterstaining. Allow the prepared samples to air dry. Under the fluorescence microscope, you will see any tuberculosis bacteria contrasted against a dark background as luminous rods. You'll get a negative result if you don't find any acid-fast rods in at least 100 to 300 fields of view. Because fluorescence microscopy provides you with a particularly good contrast, you can identify samples very quickly indeed, effortlessly processing up to 50 preparations in one day.